from surprise. As Emily came home from a grueling day at work, she immediately sensed that something was wrong. The normally serene atmosphere of her house felt tense and disjointed. Dropping her keys on the kitchen counter, she noticed a heap of her belongings piled in the living room. Her heart sank as she hurriedly walked towards her bedroom. There, standing like an unwelcome sentinel, was her mother-in-law, Margaret. The older woman was rifling through Emily's drawers, her movements calm and methodical. Margaret, what's going on? Emily asked, her voice trembling as she tried to mask her growing panic. Margaret, a tall woman with an air of unassailable authority, turned slowly, her expression inscrutable. Emily, dear, I've decided it's time for a change, she said coolly. You're moving out. Emily blinked, her mind racing. Moving out? What are you talking about? This is my home. John and I live here. Correction, Margaret said, placing a neatly folded sweater on the bed. John lives here, and as his mother, I'm ensuring he has the best environment. You've been a distraction. Emily felt a surge of anger. A distraction? I'm his wife. We've built this life together. You can't just throw me out. Margaret's expression softened ever so slightly, but her tone remained firm. I can, and I am. I've already spoken to John, and he agrees. He's at work now, but we can discuss this further when he gets home. Emily's heart pounded in her chest. How could John agree to this without even talking to her? She needed to hear it from him. Margaret, you can't just decide this on your own. I'm calling John right now, she said, pulling out her phone with trembling hands. Margaret sighed, a hint of impatience in her eyes. Do as you wish, but the decision has been made. Emily dialed John's number, her fingers shaking. After what felt like an eternity, he picked up. John, what is going on? Your mother is here and she's saying I have to move out. Is this some kind of joke? Emily's voice wavered. There was a long pause before John spoke, his voice heavy with guilt. Emily, I... I'm sorry. My mom is right. We've been having problems, and maybe some space would be good for us. Tears welled up in Emily's eyes. John... We should be working on this together, not letting your mother dictate our lives. I know it's sudden, but I think it's for the best, John said, his tone distant. I'll come home early tonight, and we can talk more. Emily hung up, feeling a mix of betrayal and heartbreak. She looked at Margaret, who was watching her with a smug satisfaction. This isn't over, Emily said, wiping her tears. I will fight for my marriage and my home. Margaret raised an eyebrow. We'll see about that. Determined, Emily started packing her things back into the bedroom, refusing to let Margaret's domineering presence push her out. She knew she had a difficult battle ahead, but she wasn't going to give up without a fight. Hours passed as Emily meticulously reorganized her belongings. She reached out to her closest friends, Sarah and Lisa, who rushed over as soon as they could. Together, they discussed the situation, and brainstormed a plan. You can't let her win, Emily, Sarah said fiercely. This is your home. John needs to see that he can't just let his mother run your lives, Lisa added. Emily nodded, grateful for their support. I know. I'm going to suggest counseling. If John cares about our marriage, he'll agree. By the time John arrived home, Emily was ready. He looked exhausted, the weight of the day and the impending confrontation etched on his face. John, we need to talk, Emily said, her voice firm but calm. This isn't just about us anymore. It's about the respect and boundaries we need to maintain in our marriage. John looked torn. Emily, I... I didn't mean for it to come to this. I thought space would help. Space doesn't mean eviction, Emily replied. We need counseling, not separation instigated by your mother. Margaret, who had been eavesdropping from the hallway, stepped into the room. Counseling? Really, Emily? You think that's going to fix everything? It's a start, Emily said, holding her ground. John, if you care about our marriage, you'll agree to this. John sighed deeply. All right, Emily, let's try counseling. Margaret frowned but said nothing, realizing she might have underestimated Emily's resolve. Over the next few weeks, Emily and John attended counseling sessions. 
The sessions were challenging, forcing them to confront their issues and communicate more honestly than they had in years. Margaret's presence in their home remained a point of contention, but Emily stood firm in setting boundaries. One evening, after a particularly intense session, John sat down with his mother. Mom, Emily and I are working on our marriage. I appreciate your concern, but you need to give us space. Margaret looked hurt, but nodded. I only want what's best for you, John. I know, but what's best for me is to work things out with Emily, John said gently. Margaret agreed to give them space, and slowly the tension in the house began to ease. Emily and John found a renewed connection, rediscovering the love that had brought them together in the first place. Months later, as Emily looked around their home, she felt a sense of peace. It hadn't been easy, but they had navigated the storm together. With Margaret now living in her own apartment nearby, their home had returned to being a sanctuary. Emily and John still had challenges to face, but they were stronger together. As they sat hand in hand, watching the sunset from their porch, Emily knew they had made the right choice. Love, after all, was worth fighting for. Emily's world is turned upside down when she returns home to find her mother-in-law, Margaret, taking over her bedroom and piling her belongings in the living room. To her shock, Margaret insists that Emily must move out, claiming that Emily has been a distraction to her husband, John. As Emily fights to reclaim her home and her marriage, she discovers the strength within herself and the importance of setting boundaries. With the help of friends and the challenge of confronting deep-seated issues through counseling, Emily and John must navigate the turbulent waters of their relationship. Will their love prevail, or will Margaret's meddling drive them apart forever? The unwelcome surprise is a poignant tale of love, resilience, and the power of standing up for what truly matters.